Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Mote of Cornerstone Health Community, and today I want to talk to you about gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. GERD is a, a collection of symptoms caused by reflux of stomach acid from the stomach up through the food pipe, and the symptoms frequently are acidic taste, belching, sometimes nausea, and many times pain. It could be burning type pain, but usually behind the sternum, um, or even up in the throat. So gastroesophageal reflux disease has a cause. In fact, there's about four different types of causes, and they can be identified and addressed in the vast majority of cases. What we don't want to do is settle for the approach that I should take an over-the-counter acid blocker like Tums or Rolaids or the uh, proton pump inhibitors that are prescribed for long periods of time. That's, that's not the right approach. When we look at the causes, gluten by far in patients who are sensitive is the most common cause. We physicians and even patients think of gluten as causing symptoms of diarrhea or bloating or lower intestinal symptoms, but heartburn and reflux is one of the prime symptoms of gluten sensitivity, and so don't eat it. You have to take gluten as well as all grains out of your diet for four weeks and see if that doesn't improve your symptoms. The vast majority of people will see um, improvement, if not full resolution of their GERD if they do that. And if that's the case, you've got your solution. It's not time to reintroduce those foods, then the problems would only come back. Another common cause is alcohol. Whether you're sensitive to gluten or not, alcohol creates inflammation. And through the food pipe and stomach, it can create inflammation that would lead to those symptoms I was re referring to, acidic taste, burning, belching. And so again, avoiding alcohol for the period of two to four weeks could dramatically improve, if not resolve, symptoms of GERD. And then there's H. pylori. One of the favorite bacterial infections that I run into all the time is very prevalent. The likelihood somebody has it is about equal to their age, so that's a high likelihood. And it doesn't always cause symptoms, but when it does, among the more common symptoms are nausea, heartburn, acidic taste, belching. Um, and so that GERD symptom could be a result of a bacterial infection living in the stomach. There's five different tests for H. pylori bacteria. Four of them are not great. You can get a scope where they put a camera down there and look for it. You can get a blood test, which should not be done. Uh, there's a breath test that is very popular, but not perfect. And there's two different types of stool tests. We use a stool test that uses DNA detection. We find it more readily. We can treat it with antibiotics to get rid of it. Uh, when we use antibiotics, of course, we protect our patients with a, a battery of probiotics and things to help heal the gut. But it takes two powerful antibiotics to get rid of H. pylori. And if you do, many times then uh, you get resolution. And when you don't, a few patients have needed some digestive enzymes for a month or two to fully resolve symptoms. And finally, there's mold and yeast like candida. Either one of them, where we swallow mold or yeast, can colonize the stomach and the uh, upper esophagus, and the release of toxins from those fungi can create the inflammation that's associated with heartburn and GERD. So we have tests, we have treatments, do not settle for anything less than ideal health.